First of all, I think most people who have heard and watched any news in the last few days will know what happened to you on another television station. This is a story that GB News chiefs hold emergency talks as Channel fights for his future, its future in the mail this morning. Uh, do, you, do you want me to, to, to explain that story? Or Absolutely. is it I, 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 Whatever. I would never... <laughs> you know I wouldn't... Dis Both. You know we're mates. You, I mean, whatever you want to say. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't know too much about it. I mean, I... I, I think that they acted swiftly last week by suspending them and I look forward to seeing what they do next. I, I really have little to say about it, mostly because I don't think that Fox is worth me giving him any oxygen. Mm -hmm. And again, it's really not about me. It's about um, women in general and I just think about how we're speaking about women on broadcast. I think most people know that that's not acceptable and I can't imagine it will be happening again. Yep. Good for you. Ed? Uh, well, I agree. Absolutely. I mean, I think, I mean, look, I don't necessarily think GB News should close down. I think what Lawrence Fox did was obviously outrageous and Dan Wooden, I think, uh, looked like he was enabling it. And uh, on any station, uh, that would be called out. Uh, Ofcom is investigating uh, and there would be appropriate action against the people uh, responsible. But yeah. I think uh, a bit like uh, what Ava says about giving Fox publicity, I think you distract if you say, well, GB News must close down. What you want are proper broadcasting standards, which all broadcasters yep. adhere to. Talk TV adheres to them. I'm on Times Radio. We adhere to them. I think it's good that we have broadcasting standards in this country, and it's good that we have a regulator that can take action when people breach them. I, I completely agree. It's difficult for both ladies here to speak about this. It's difficult for everybody, but I'll tell you what I think. You talk about broadcasting standards. I think this is a, an absolute example of channels who put commentators who are not broadcasters in a position of, you know, national... They're, they're there and they get shown up. And, and I just want to say one thing as a mate. I thought you conducted yourself yes. with real dignity and, you know, I'm not... We're probably not the same politically, but we're absolutely the same in what's respectful and what isn't and fair play to you. Yeah. And I think the way you've handled it is... Incredible. Beyond Because you're impressive. absolutely spot on. It's not about you. You weren't even there. You weren't, you know, you became the story but you weren't there by choice. Mm. It could have been any other woman. And I'm, you know, I'm glad that you've been able to handle it in the way that you have. And I just hope that you're being supported as well. And please continue to shout at me about my political views. I enjoy that. She well, I, I will say, because your mum loves me, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. What the hell were you wearing in that male interview in orange and brown? It's not you at all, mate. I mean, I, I know you're pinting around in a black dress. And what was all that about? You look like you're in the home counties. What's the matter with She's you, She's always Ava? got a pint in her hand. Yeah, but she went, she, what's going on? Have you gone all home counties? I mean, she can't comment. She can't comment. <laughs>